What's going on, Melon Farmers? DMAC back with another episode of Joey Terrible, the absolute anvil offensively of the Tampa Bay Lightning. We got through the first three years of his career where he has no business being in the National Hockey League whatsoever. And let's take a look at how that went. We'll go to the edit line screen. We'll go find Mr. Joey Terrible, who's still on that top line, only grew to 61 overall from 50. Let's take a look at how his career is gone. Year one, five goals, one assist, six points, minus 12. Second season, he did a little bit better. Six goals, seven assists, 13 points, and he was a plus three. And in year three last year, he actually didn't perform all that bad. Seven goals, 19 assists, 26 points. Now, keep in mind that he has been on the top line every year of his career so far. <laughs> so you feel like he probably should have been producing a little better than this, but, you know, he's been slowly getting better. So I don't know what to expect from him this season, but he is 23 years old now. And he does have a three-year, one-way, one million AAV contract that he is starting just rate stat now as we go in to year number four. So, before we get any further, uh, if you haven't already, scroll down, hit that. All right. Well, that took care of that. All right, here we go. So, what I'm going to do is jump into the calendar, and I am going to, you know what? Screw it. I'm not even going to stop. Uh, I'm not even going to stop at January 1st to see how he's doing. Let's just go all the way to the end. That's Let's do it. All right, well, I lied. I decided I wanted to stop pretty much at the beginning of January. So we just came off a 3-2 to two victory. Our team is 17-14-4 so far in 35 games this season. I do want to take a look and see how Mr. Joey Terrible's doing. So Nikita Kucherov leads this team with 31 points in 35 games. He is a minus 10. Steven Stamkos, who we re-signed recently, I believe. Yeah, three years 8.5 a season. He is starting to drop off now, but he has 30 points in 35 games. Now let's go see where Mr. Uh, Joey Terrible is. Where are we? 14 points already. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So nothing has grown uh, at this point in the season yet. He is still low bottom six at 23 years old. Uh, six goals, eight assists, 14 points. I mean, that's not terrible. You know what I mean? Like, he could, he could be doing better considering he's on the top line, but that's, like, every single season. I was really hoping that he was going to take, like, yet another huge step forward and maybe get himself, like, a 35, 40-point season. I feel like if he can just have, like, an unbelievably good season at some point, if he could just throw up, like, 50 points, he'd grow by, like, eight. <laughs> and then it's like, man, we're, we're kind of looking at, like, a legit player now. Okay, so now let's get to the end of the season. Alrighty, so here we are at the end of the regular season where we did miss the playoffs and went one game above 500. We went 36, 35, and 11. So now let's see how everybody did to end the season. Yeah, we were, what, sixth in our division? So could be, could have been worse. Could have been a lot better, though. All right, so we got Kucherov leading the parade again with 73 points, 37 goals, 36 assists. He was still a minus 10. Steven Stamkos, 34 goals, 38 assists, 72 points for the 35-year-old. God, he took such a nosedive. And it's very surprising considering how good of a year he really had. You know what I mean? All right, so let's scroll down. Let's find Mr. Joey Terrible. Oh, God, 23 points. That's brutal. Come on, man. You got to be doing better than that. I see his awarenesses did go up. But yeah, no, he only had 23 points. He actually had a step down from the year before. I mean, he had better goal scoring. Like, he, this is the first time in his career he's, he's ever had double-digit goals. But it's like his points went down. And his, his plus-minus got a lot worse. And he took a lot more penalties than he usually does. He played 20 and a half minutes per game which is bonkers. He shouldn't even be in the NHL. <laughs> all right, man. All right. So again, like I said, we missed the playoffs, so we might as well just simulate on ahead to year five. And look at that. For the first time since we started doing the, the first episode of this series, the Toronto Maple Leafs did not win the Stanley Cup. For the first time, they won three in a row to start off this series and finally, now the Anaheim Ducks have taken the Stanley Cup. Salary caps up to $94.7 million. Did we end up... Oh, look at that. 
We got the number 11 pick at the draft. Okay. I am going to just literally skip the draft. <laughs> oh, man. Now that we're at uh, basically the player retirement page, I am going to very quickly try to find Mr. Joey Terrible, who obviously they threw down in the minors. Let's see. Where's Terrible? He's not at the bottom anymore. Look at that. He did jump up. He did jump up to 62 overall, but my goodness. This guy is like not growing the way we wanted him to. What I don't understand too, <clears throat> what I don't understand too is how is his durability so low? I have injuries turned off. This guy's played four years in the NHL and he's never been injured. <laughs> so like, how has his durability not gone up? Like at all? <laughs> I think it went from like 66 to 70 in four years of z never missing a game. Preseason, regular season, playoffs, he's never missed a game. And he still has brutal durability. Alrighty, so here we go. At the beginning of year five, we're going to go to the edit line screen and see how everybody turned out. We did finally have to say goodbye to Mr. Steven Stamkos after a long tenure with the team. He dropped off like crazy. We had to re-sign uh, Victor Hedman. And yeah, so that's basically just how that went. Anyway, let's go into roster moves. We got to go find Mr. Joey Terrible. Let's see, where are you? Joey Terrible, 63. <laughs> He's 24 years old. He's just not growing. He's just not growing at all. Oh, my God. Look, his durability went up by one. Oh, my God, man. All right, well... Let's call him up. <laughs> let's do it. Best AHL lines. Now let's go in here where it's going to be Braden Point. Again, Nikita Kucherov. Palat, we are going to have to move him down. Oof. I'm going to have to move him down to like line three. We actually have like decent depth though. That's the thing. Greg Salvador. He was our 19th overall pick in year two. He's very EA-ified. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Joey Terrible, 63 overall. Like I said, still waiting on that breakout season, buddy. Oh, man. Right, let's see how the defense looks. They want Chernak there, but I don't want Chernak there. I want Chernak. Oh, we got two right-handed D. We got a left and a left. Two lefts, two rights. My goodness. And a left and a right. Okay. Yeah. Um... Whatever, we're just going to go with it. All right, I'm going to fix up the special teams and everything, and then we're just going to jump in and get halfway through year five. All right, so there we go. We got her all taken care of. Apparently, we are looking at the AHL. Yeah, I don't know why, but all right, so we're going to simulate on ahead yet again to January 1st and see how this guy's doing. All righty, so yet again, here we are, January 1st, 2026, and holy crap, a moly, what a season we have had. 35 games in, we're 21, 11, and 3. We started the season, though, 11, 1, and 1. <laughs> so after that, we went uh, 10, 10, and 2. <laughs> so we were, we're a 500 team after that first 13 games. Braden Point leading the parade, though. Point per game player, 35 points in 35 games. Now, Joey Terrible, oh, baby. I didn't even have to really scroll to, fi to find him this time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at, well, that's one of the things with Joey Terrible, though, right? Look at that offensive awareness. Look at it. 86 offensive awareness. It did jump up yet again. So it's like, man, I think, I mean, could, could he, like, could, th could this be the year? You know, we're not even halfway through the season. He's already had 16 points, seven goals, nine assists, 16 points, plus 16. I got rid of Steven Stamkos, and then his team turned into like a beast mode team again. It's unbelievable. So let's like keep that up. <laughs> All right, let's get to the end of year five and let's see how we did. All right, so here we go at the end of the regular season in year five, and oh baby, 46, 29, and 7, and we are back in the playoffs. My goodness, Nikita Kucherov at the end of the day did end up taking home most points on this team. Now where did Joey Terrible end up? Oh baby, that seems like a bit of a breakout season if I ever saw one. Look at this kid go to work. Jumped up to 64 overall. Got a couple more attributes going up. And look at that. His durability went up again. Holy crap. It's like he heard me. 
<laughs> but absolutely in every regard, what a career year for Joey Terrible. 14 goals, 22 assists, 36 points in just five short years. Joey Terrible in 410 games has finally hit 100 career points, putting his career uh, his career points per game at around 0.25. <laughs> it's like around 0.25. I think it is. Yeah, it's very, very slightly above 0.25. I think it's like 0.26. <laughs> oh, my God. What a career. What an unreal career. All right, let's get through the playoffs and see how we do here, man. What I'm going to do is just go to the calendar and just see how we do. Let's do it. 99 points we got this year ended up being, I believe, the number one wild card team. So what I'm going to do is honestly just skip right ahead to the retirement page. NHL season complete. I don't care with these prompts, man. Won a, won a game, lost three, lost. Okay, <laughs> we got murdered in the first round. Okay, that's that's fine. Our AHL team though looks like they're doing all right. I think they got taken out in the second round. So we got out in the first round. They got out in the second round. And look at this. The New York Rangers are the Stanley Cup champions with the Utica Comets taking the Calder. Okay. Salary cap is up to $96 million going into year six, which could be our final. Wow, the New York Islanders jumped from seven to one. Montreal from 11 to two. Minnesota dropped from first to third. Jeez, man. That's rough. So there's a very good chance that this next season, this is going to be it. We're going we're gonna to have to see. Look at Verona. Holy cow pies, man. Did that guy ever knock it out of the park in the playoffs, eh? We got a bunch of folks expiring. And basically, it's like this was a, this was a very successful season. So it's like, yes, I would like to kind of keep the band together if possible. You know what I mean? There's probably going to be a couple of people that are uh, basically on their way out of town soon. But let's see if I can find Mr. Joey Terrible, who did jump to 65 overall now. It seems like the growth is like going away for him a little bit. His offensive awareness went down. <laughs> what is happening here? All right, well, this is going to be Joey Terrible's. We're about to enter the final year of his contract. And then after that is done, once this third season is done and over with, basically, we're going to have to figure out if we want to keep going in this career because it's like, based on how he has grown so far, it's like, I don't know if, like, he's going to end up going exact pretty soon. And he could be like, you know... AHL fourth line forward or something potential. And then it's like, well, okay, well, there's zero reason to keep this going then. But maybe after this next season, we'll see how he grows. Maybe he has one huge breakout season or something like that. Again, you know what I mean? Like another breakout where he has like a really legit year. And uh, maybe, maybe we can keep this going. Or we'll just have to find some other little experiment to do. You know what I mean? Anyway. I am going to get to the beginning of year six. All right, so here we are at the beginning of year six. My God, these videos are so fun to edit. Because <laughs> it's like so so much of it is just like, just silence. Just like 18, 20 minutes at a time of just zero sound made. Whoops, what am I doing? I went to the wrong thing. In the system, where is my guy? Mr. Joey Terrible, 66 overall, baby. It's still low bottom six forward, though. But look at this guy go to work. Look at this guy with his 82 poise. So that means when you get later on in the season, he's probably going to play, like, slightly above his abilities. So we'll call him back up. Here we go. Best AHL lines, as always. And let's go move Verana out of here. And I think what we're going to do is, again, put Palat down here. Put Verona down there, Mr. Salvador. How you doing? Mm, no. Who can I move? Cole. Cole. <laughs> All right, Cole. Sorry, buddy. You got to get taken off here. Okay, Joey Terrible. Come on, man. Yeah, like one more try. That's it. And again, they really, they're, they're hellbent. They're hellbent. Chernak is going there. Oh, man. All right, again, two left D. 
two right D. Then we got Yoki and Sean Day. <laughs> oh my God, this team's terrible. Okay, who's this? Dominic Mason or Mason? I'm gonna call him Mason. There you go. Well, this team's terrible, but we got some pretty decent pieces. This band really doesn't want to break up. I'm telling you, Cooch and Victor Hedman are both eligible. Actually, I think Braden Point too. Maybe. No, no, never mind. It wasn't Braden Point. Who was it? It was Cooch, and I think it was Hedman, and I think there was another, uh, another one. It might be like Sorelli or something. They all want to come back. They all want to sign extensions again. And it's like, man, these guys really love this team. They just do not want to leave this team. So now what did, okay, Hugo Olmfeldt is a starting goalie, and he's so young. You know what I mean? Ugh. And I, I just signed him to a contract extension. He is a legitimate starting goaltender he's on the lower end of starting goalies but he is a starting goalie you know what i mean but i think you got to go with vazzy for one more year and then i think it might end up being on net if it's not too late he might drop he's 25 he might drop to like backup or like fringe starter potential i don't know we're, we're gonna have to see anyway i'll fix up these special teams lines and then uh we'll get into year six <sighs> all right so here we are at the beginning of year six. This could potentially be the final season. Actually, I did very quickly wanted to take a look at this kid, Tyler Willis. We got him 11th overall a couple of years ago. Look at this kid. Center, six foot three, 215 pounds, and he is a power forward. He's actually not overly strong for a power forward, but I do like him. He's a big guy. He's going to be, if there is a year seven, he will be coming up next year and probably uh, in a in a big way. There you go. Look at that. One little change. And apparently our head coach is quite the idiot. <laughs> Doesn't know how to put lines together with chemistry. All right. So let's simulate on ahead to January 1st and see how we're doing this year. All right. So here we are, January 1st. This is not the same team we had last year. Last year at this point, we were like 20, what was it? 21, 11, and 3? Or something like, yeah, I think that's what it was. 21, 11, and 3 at this point. And now we're 14, 19, and 3. My God, man, that's brutal. But Coochie Woochie still leading the parade here in January 1st. Let's see how everybody's doing. Joey Terrible still don't got to, still, still didn't have to scroll too, too far for uh, to find him. But he's really just not growing. He just like never really did. He, I mean, in six years, in the NHL as a 50 overall player. He went from 50 to 66 in five and a half years. <laughs> like, that's kind of terrible. I've seen people go from, like, 49 to 87 in one year in the minors. It's, like, redonkulous. All right, let's get to the end of this one and see cumulatively how we did. Well, 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 we're at the end of the season and we did miss the playoffs, but my God, we actually turned things around pretty nicely towards the end and ended up uh, seven games above 500 and four points out of the, well, five points out of the playoffs. So let's see how Mr. Joey Terrible is doing at the end of this year. Nikita Kucherov leading the parade again. He's got to be really getting up there in career point totals, man. Joey Terrible, whoa, there you go, 40-point season for Joey Terrible, who didn't grow at all. <laughs> oh, man, and he is expiring. Look at Vicky Hedman, 36 years old. Wow, that's kind of crazy. He's expiring. Oh, man. Nikita Kucherov dropped from franchise to elite as well. I might keep them together if we keep going on this. You guys are going to have to let me know because I'm basically going to... What I'm going to do is essentially simulate through the playoffs, get to like the player retirement spot, and that's where we're going to end this. And then I'll probably have a poll uh, at some point and ask if we should keep going or, you know, ask if we're done, if the series is over. So the AHL also missed the playoffs. What is it? Syracuse Crunch? Sounds like a basketball team. All right, what do we got? What do we got? Who's going to take the Stanley Cup? The New York Rangers won it last year, and the New York Rangers went back-to-back -back Stanley Cups. The Iowa Wild take the Calder Cup. So that's okay. So the way it's gone so far was uh, year one was Toronto, year two was Toronto, year three was Toronto, 
Year four was Anaheim, and year five and six were both the New York Rangers. So the salary cap did go up by $855,000, which is not by very much, but it's only, you know, it's only been six years, and it's it's almost at $100 million now. So here we go. We are going to get, as I said before, to the player retirement page. Where are we? 16. Oh, yeah, that's right, because we just missed the playoffs. Man, that's that dreaded 16th pick, eh? All right. Well, let's take a look. Let's see how Mr. Terrible did. He's probably still got to go into the contracts because he's going to be in the minors. They send him down the second the season ends. And honestly, I want to see how much do these guys want. We got $31.8 mil- $31. million in extension dollars. Um, I could probably get him for like nine and a quarter for two years. I mean, by the end of it, he's not going to be worth it. <laughs> but he's Victor Hedman, you know. Uh, Nikita Kucherov wants a four-year deal. I don't want to give you that whatsoever because <laughs> you're old too. I'd rather give you like a two-year deal. I might even cut all this out. I don't know. Uh, I'm probably going to have to. I'm going to offer him the same as Hedman, nine and a quarter for a couple years. So there you go. Verona doesn't want to come back. I don't care about that. But what do we got? Tyler Willis, he's coming up, baby. He is coming up next year. Oh, yeah. 78 overall. So at next season, he's probably going to be like 80 overall. I could probably toss him on like the third line to get to start. Jeez. All right, let's go in the system. Oh, you got to go find him. Where's Joey Terrible? Joey Terrible, 68 overall. <laughs> he, he went to medium. He's medium bottom six forward now. <laughs> See, kids, what one good year can do. Oh, my. That's fantastic. Obviously, he wants an extension. <laughs> He wants $3.1 million a year for two years, but I want him for three years. <laughs> oh, my God. Joey Terrible is going to cost $3 million a season. That's amazing. I love that. That's so funny. Okay, so Joey Terrible, had a he had a 40-point season. It's going straight to his head now. <laughs> Oh my god, that's fantastic. I love that so much. Oh yeah, and I wanted to see too. Oh baby, the kid Jose Yell, the future. He's going to be coming up. And Hugo Allenfelt, medium starter. He is a starting goalie. We should probably play him as one. So uh, what we might end up doing... Well, we'll have one... There's one more season of Vasilevsky while he's still franchise potential... You got to trade him. While he has value, absolutely trade him. Oh, man. All right. Anyway, that is where we're going to end this one off. We're, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where we're, <laughs> this is where we're going to end this one off. I'm going to do a poll on the channel. We're going to see, do you guys want me to do one more episode of this where he, like, in the next episode, if we do one, he will go exact with his potential. You know what I mean? So... I think that's where we'll finally be getting somewhere. I mean, these videos are fun to do. They're pretty, they're brainless. You don't really got to think too hard about it. It's like you're just simulating through a couple of seasons. They're very easy to do. They're fun, you know. Anyway, that is where I'm going to finish this one off for right now. If you haven't already, don't forget to scroll down, hit that like button, subscribe for new videos coming all the freaking time. And until next time, you beautiful melon farmers, have a good one.